Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody, this is the Digital Asset Investor. Wanted to give you a little reminder, uh, the Flare Naming Service, which is one of my uh, sponsors, uh, and I'll put a link to this in the top of the description. These guys are have .flr domain names, and they can also be used as payment pointers. And I've shown you they gave me um, dai.flr, or they're going to give it to me. But these guys are going to be launching soon, and they have it where you can get an, an early launch reservation. That's what I did. I paid the $10 because that's going to give me access to being able to go in and buy their premium domains, you know, like the Vegas.com and those kind of things. Or maybe XRP, XRPLasVegas.FLR. How about that? Maybe that's the one I want. I bet Brad Combs wants that one. But anyway, free um, free newsletter right here um, you can sign up for if you don't want to do that. But if you want to have access to those premium domains, I think it looks like 24 hours before, or four, 24 or 48, I don't know what it is. But May 27th, 2023 is when they're going to do their launch date. And so you would have access before any, anybody else. So... Just as a reminder, XRP Las Vegas is in 29 days. The word on the street is that this thing is getting extremely close to selling out now. So Brad uh, Combs that's running this thing, I'm not involved in it in any way. Just think that it, it will be good for the community for, the, for this thing to sell out and be huge. So Brad, you might want to go get XRPLasVegas.FLR on launch over at Flare Naming Service. <laughs> okay. Egreg Crypto sees gold going to $3,000. Um, he's looking at the gold charts. Chart is literally screaming for gold to break out to the upside. However, I will allow myself to give dates for potential gold breakout to all-time high. May 2023 and October 2023 remind these dates because gold will remind humanity why it, is, why it is called God's money. I agree with him. Now, I just... I saw this chart this morning, central bank gold purchases since 2009. Remember, Bitcoin was launched right in the middle of the financial crisis, and they wrote into the code that uh, this terminology that would make it look like um, the creator, Satoshi, was anti this fiat system. To me, the perfect psyop. And I said, if I were the U.S. government, I would release Bitcoin. And, and then look, they... These guys accumulated gold for the next 10 or 12 years after the financial crisis, okay? And here we are. If I were the U.S. government, I would release Bitcoin to make it look like an anti-bailout libertarian movement during the financial crisis so retail would exit the system into Bitcoin instead of going into gold for the next 10 years while I printed fiat into oblivion and accumulated gold, which we know the central banks have done. I would also be accumulating the digital assets that would actually be involved in the new monetary system. It's not Bitcoin, folks. I wouldn't tell anyone, and I'd get my media friends to talk up, you know, like CNBC. I would get them to show nothing but Bitcoin and Ethereum for the next 10 years, as much as possible. I would even pretend I didn't care who Satoshi was. This is what I would do, but it's just me. That's what I would do, folks. Jason Cousins, as long as we're on gold, he's the CEO of Glint, who is one of my sponsors, and the link's in the top of this description. That's where you can buy gold, spendable gold because you have a, a uh, debit MasterCard, so you can literally spend grams of gold on your meal or at the grocery store if things get really bad. It's a great option to have. The winds of recession are turning businesses away from growth as March was another lackluster month for U.S. employment um, Non-farm payroll data showed both unemployment rate at 3.5%. The number of unemployed at 5.8 million changed little. Gold of security, Glenn is key. I agree with that. Now, I, I've got this out of place. I meant to put it right after I told you my thoughts on Bitcoin. Just in Mt. Gox repayment. Mount, when we say Mt. Gox, let's say 
Mount Gox, who was created by, by Jed McCaleb, who, who had no repercussions, and Mount Gox, who was banked by J.P. Morgan, repayment information deadline has finally passed. Creditors are set to receive about 165000 in Bitcoin and circa half a billion dollars in fiat. All right. This article, now this is from Blockworks. No matter what happens with the SEC, Ripple has already won. Ripple fighting the SEC for years is a major green flag for crypto these days. And I'll just kind of sum this article up. They kind of point out how, you know, when, when it started out, everybody hated Ripple and XRP. But by the end of it, we've got people like Ryan Selkis who understand the bigger picture. And, and the funniest part of this article is that they call G Gary Gensler as the Cruella de Vil to crypto's 101 market caps. <laughs> That's funny. This does not end well for the SEC in the United States overall, in my opinion. But I agree. Ripple has already won. Not, I don't, I don't, I'm not saying Ripple's already won the case. I'm saying they've already won the, the, the larger battle. And, and I think that because of the fight that Ripple has done, I think in the end, crypto is going to win. Now, I wanted to show you what it would look like if we in the United States had a country with leaders who actually wanted our country to prosper the way that the leaders used to want our country to prosper. What Dubai is doing is what it would look like. Um, why would I call uh, Dubai a crypto capital of the world? Again, I'm slightly biased, but um, there are multiple, multiple reasons. First of all, English is the speaking and working language of the entire UAE. Japan, unfortunately, is a little bit difficult for non-Japanese founders and for non-Japanese companies. The connectivity, we are right in the center of the world, literally. Here's India with their billion uh, users. There's China with their multi-billion of users. And, and um, Africa and Europe, we're right in the middle of it. We've got an amazing infrastructure, be it internet, be it roads, be it um, uh, places where you live. And uh, I mean, I can't think of a better place to live um, and work. Um, the VC funds are moving into Dubai at a speed I've never seen in my life. We're setting up um, VC funds, uh, fund managers, uh, you know, at a quite sort of astonishing rate. And this is where entrepreneurs want to be, right? If you've got amazing infrastructure, you've got amazing opportunities, the whole ecosystem is there, the VCs are there, uh, regulations are being um, passed because you want regulatory certainty. What you don't want is what is happening in the US, regulation by enforcement. This is what you don't want as a lawyer and this is what you don't want as an entrepreneur. So we've got to- So our country and, our, and the Gary Genslers of the world have, have made the decision that they want the legacy people to have everything and they want to kill innovation in the United States of America. It's unbelievable that that's where we are in this country. Sick. Okay, Jeremy Hogan um, pointed out something interesting today. If the judge in the Ripple case wanted to split the baby, that's a horrific phrase, isn't it? She could rule that sales of XRP since mid-2018 were not securities because even the SEC concedes that Ripple's actions had almost no effect on XRP's price since that point in time. Now, I've been talking about Ripple for a long time and XRP. And I can tell you there's only one time where a news item affected the price that I can remember, like significantly affected the price. And that is December 7, 2017, when this came out. Ripple escrows 55 billion XRP for supply predictability. I believe because the date here, if you remember, the very next month is when Andres and Horowitz meets with Jay Clayton and they set in motion the Ethereum free pass. From December 7th through mid-January, or I think early January, the XRP price would hit its all-time high. Stellar would also hit its all-time high, XLM, by the way, on the same day. After that, from, from about this time, that is when all of the people were activated, the anti-XRP stuff. Uh, that's when CNBC stopped doing, showing you how you could buy XRP on, uh, it was around this time. They stopped showing you how you could buy it. There, the media began to only talk about Bitcoin and Ethereum. 
the lawsuits against Ripple began. It, the Ethereum free pass was set in motion. All of that. The, um, the SEC gave them a, I can't remember, a tolling agreement where they said, we, we might come after you more or less, and eventually did go after them. All of this, in my opinion, started because of this XRP escrow. This, to me, is ground zero. This is what this has been about all along. I'm gonna finish with this. I'll, I'll play as much of this as I can take, but this is Gary Gensler, a video he put out yesterday. You've been criticized by some for regulating the crypto some. industry by enforcement policy rather than by proposing rules. Why have you to date been reluctant to propose new rules to govern crypto? It's pretty straightforward. There already are rules. They're called the securities laws and the securities rules. There's nothing incompatible about crypto. Okay, I can't take anymore. Susan Friedman from Ripple says, unlike securities, crypto usually doesn't involve a financial claim on the offer and can be settled in real time without intermediaries. These differences warrant tailored rules, not canned assurances that a one-size-fits-all approach will work for everyone. It doesn't. It sure doesn't. And that's the thing Gary can't get around. The oranges in Howie were not securities and never in the history of the United States have secondary market sales been called securities. And that's the fact, Jack, I'm the digital asset investor. I'm not an investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe at the like button and tell your friends and family that XRP-LasVegas.com, XRP Las Vegas is in 29 days and it's going to sell out. And I, that's just the way it is. Thanks for listening. Oh,